Welcome to Yoga For You, a channel tailored to helping you discover your very own unique yoga practice. Hi everyone, I'm Taylor. Today we're going to be giving the hips some love. We're going to be opening them, strengthening them, just really getting those hips nice and open and strong. And it might sound like a little bit of an odd place to get started, but we are going to start in our frog pose malasana, our yogi squat. So coming onto your feet, bend deep into your knees and bring your hips down between your heels. If you are looking at me now and saying, oh, Taylor, what the heck, there's no way. You can bring a block underneath your seat. You are more than welcome to stay on your toes if your heels can't quite reach the ground yet. Find any kind of frog variation that is going to be supportive for you right away. Ideally, the elbows come in between the thighs. Find length in the spine. The last thing that we want is this closing of the chest and the upper body. So really peel those shoulders back, bloom the heart forward and drop into your hips. Now this can be a slightly softened frog. Normally I would invite students to press with their thighs and their elbows and find a very engaged shape. And here, because we are just starting our practice, it's okay if it's a little softer. If we look around at most of our species, we spend most of our time squatting. Become comfortable here in this space, in the hips, the lower back, the knees. Begin to settle into the breath. Deepen and lengthen your inhales. Slowly release your exhales. There may be a couple moments of this practice that are uncomfortable for you, whether that uncomfortability is directly in the hips, in the lower back, it might even be in the shoulders or elsewhere. And I invite you to settle into that discomfort, allow it to be present and move through as it needs. For instance, here in our yogi squat, it would be really easy to ask, when are we getting a break? When do I get to relax my hips and straighten my legs and know that that time is coming? And instead of focusing on, when do I get to be out of this? Focus on what am I receiving in this? What is the experience? What is the sensation that this moment, this shape, this asana is providing for you now? And settle into that. Find one more breath in as you lengthen in your spine. Keep the feet exactly as they are. And as you exhale, find a fold. Drop your hands down to the ground as you send your hips high to the sky. You might find completely straight legs. They might be slightly bent. Find your fold by letting your head and your neck hang completely heavy and keep these frog feet. So we want the toes out and the heels in. This is allowing the hips to find an external rotation in the fold.
keep your palms or at least your fingertips connected to the earth for our next shape as best you can. Inhale into a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, either pressing firmly into the palms or maybe you rise onto the fingertips. Find a nice long flat back as you really extend forward out the crown of your head. Toes are still out with those frog feet. Feel the stretch behind and outside of your legs. Take a deep breath in, keeping the hands where they are, exhale as you fold, just surrender in the torso. We'll find a bit of a flow, inhale as you straighten through the spine, and exhale, squat, find your frog, you can keep your hands where they are. Inhale as you hold here, lift in the chest, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold as you breathe out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, frog squat, bend the knees. Hold here as you breathe in. Last round of flow, exhale, fold, head low, hips high. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale, lift, exhale, frog squat, malasana. This time, bring the hands to the heart one more time, inhale. As you exhale, drop just your right hand to the center of your mat and inhale, frog twist. Reach your left hand up high to the sky. Try to keep your tailbone at the center of your mat. It's really easy to shift over. Keep both feet even and the weight of your hips even between both feet, while also expanding across the chest, reaching with the arms. Maybe you begin to gaze up. Take a deep breath in. Hold here as you breathe out. Soften where you can. One more inhale. Exhale with control, slowly bring yourself back, hold and center, inhale. And exhale, release your left hand center, again keeping the weight of your tailbone in the middle. Inhale as you reach your right arm high, expanding your heart up to the sky. Stay low in your hips, stay open across the upper body. Keep using that left bicep to press into your left thigh. Stay low in your squat. Take a deep breath in. Hold as you breathe out. One more, inhale. Exhale as you bring yourself back into center. Hands to heart last time. Inhale, lift and exhale forward fold release your hands down to the ground keep those frog feet just for this moment and inhale shift your weight all the way into your right hip so really knock into those sassy hips the right hip lifts the left hip drops down let the head and the neck be heavy ideally you'll find a nice long sensation along the outside of the hip running down through the leg we won't be here for long. Take one more breath in, lean a little further over if you can. And exhale, come back to center. <sighs> Inhale, knock all of your weight over to the left. Left hip stacks directly over your left ankle. Right foot has very little weight in it. As you press into that left hip, feel the release along the outside of your left. Inhale as you slowly come back through center. Now from here, keep your hands exactly as they are and walk your feet back into a downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Extend your hips up high to the sky as you really press into your palms. Reach your heart towards your thighs as you open at the front of your chest. Reach your heels deep down into your mat, finding that length along the backs of the legs. Hollow out in the lower belly to create space in the lower back. 
<sighs> Inhale as you reach your right leg up and right away move into your scorpion tail. So bend deep into the knee as you open up in that right hip as if you were trying to kick yourself in the bum with your right heel. Really reach your right knee up towards the sky. Now bring your awareness to your shoulders. Notice if your right shoulder opened up alongside you. Keep both of your shoulders square down to the mat, pressing down with the heart and just finding the openness in the hip. If flipped dog is in your practice and you'd like to find that now, now would be a beautiful time. From your scorpion tail, take a deep breath in and very carefully transition. As you exhale, you'll bring your knee down to the mat. Coming into a tabletop variation, keep your left leg lengthened, right knee down. Now inhale, lift in the left leg and find your supported side plank, Vashistasa. Right knee remains connected to the earth. Right palm is pressing into the mat. The left leg is extending long behind you as your left arm reaches up. If you would like to find a little extra extension in your side body, you can bring your bicep over your ear and find a nice long line from your fingertips to your heel. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, begin to kick your left heel in towards your glutes one more time. Reach behind you and grab your left foot. I'm tweaking the body so you can see a little bit easier. It's kind of like a dancer's pose, but sideways. Here we find white tiger. So the hole between your leg and your arm is parallel to the earth. Keep pressing down with your right shin. Keep pressing with that right palm and kick into that left heel. Find this gentle press forward of the hips. Find that nice opening along the left side body. Take a deep breath in. And again, slow transition as you exhale. Bring your left foot to the top of your mat and readjust. Shift your back knee back. Keep your hands connected to the earth. Inhale, lift gentle crescent moon. Find that sink forward in the hips. And exhale, half split, straighten through the leg as you fold. We flow, inhale forward and up. Again, focusing on the hips as you drop them down and exhale, split, reach them back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Nice even movements. Exhale back. Last one. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale as you transition forward just enough to place your palms. Step your left foot back and let's meet in a downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pause here for stability. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale as you reach your left leg up now. Right away, finding that scorpion tail, open up in the hip, bend deep into the knee and reach it up towards the sky. Kick your heel towards your bum. Bring that left shoulder back down to the ground and feel that nice stretch along the outside of your left hip. Press into your right heel, press into your palms, square off the shoulders, lift in that knee, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slow transition down, left knee comes to the earth. Press into your left palm, your left shin, and inhale, supported side plank, Vashistasana. Lift up in the right leg, lift up in the right hand. Find your strength and stability here first. And then when you're ready, you'll begin to kick your right heel in towards your bum, right hand come behind you. And again, that hole that is being created from your leg and your arm is parallel to the earth.
Press into your left hand, expand across your chest, push forward in the hips and kick in your foot. Find one more inhale here, one more little kick. And as you exhale, slow transition, right foot comes to the top of your mat, readjust your back knee. Here we find our flow. Inhale as you lift up in the chest, really drop those hips down. Exhale, pull the hips back, straighten through the leg, half split. Inhale forward and up. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale forward just enough to plant your palms. Re-engage your back leg and meet me in a downward facing dog. Hips are high, heels are low. For stability, deep breath in and center. Hold down dog as you breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, shift forward just slightly into a plank position. Keep your arms as they are and exhale, drop your hips down. Untuck your feet for a lazy up dog. Press firmly into the palms here so your spine is nice and long and watch that there's no pinch in the lower back. Maybe a tightness, yes, but no pinch. Drop those hips down, really reach your pelvis towards the earth and keep tucking the tailbone behind you. Lift in the heart and feel the stretch now along the front line of the body. One more breath in, lift the heart, drop the hips. And exhale as you press yourself back into a child's pose variation. I call it the bundled baby. Bring your big toes together, your knees together. Drop your hips on your heels, bring your forehead down to the earth and bring your arms long by your side, fingertips towards your toes. Here we find a nice release of the lower back round along the backside of the shoulders and surrender completely in your neck. Let yourself be heavy. When you are ready to continue on with your day, very carefully begin to inhale and roll your spine up into a seat. Settle into this space. 
into this shape. Namaste.